G'day and welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Today we're looking at uh, December 5th, 2024's Max Ascending by Clover. Clover's one of our sellers here at Gas HQ, so my name is Bill Murphy. G'day, how are you? Uh, no, I haven't changed my shirt from recording uh, the previous video. Uh, or, if you're watching it chronologically, I guess uh, you're going to see me not change my shirt. Um, I really wish I had a thought about that before I started saying words. That's never been my strong suit. Um, yeah, we're gas, genuinely approachable Sudoku. We create, set, and solve genuinely approachable Sudoku for you, the person watching this on YouTube and I guess uh, on disc, disc, Discord. Jesus Christ. Okay, Discord. Um, you can find the link to today's puzzle in the description down below. You will also find hat times. Two hats is for a very fast time. One hat is for a pretty fast time. And everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally. Now, uh, this is a puzzle, uh, I would say, if you take two seconds to look at the grid before you get going, uh, you can probably blast through this one. Uh, but uh, this is Max Ascending. So... Normal Sudoku rules apply. Clues outside the grid. Oh, so normal Sudoku rules is place the digits one to nine in each box, each row, and each column, once each. Uh, now, pardon me. Clues outside the grid give the longest uh, exact length of the longest continuous string of increasing digits in that row or column uh, from where the direction, uh, direction of the clue appears. Ties are permitted. So... Uh, for instance, if the longest strings of increasing digits are 3, 5, 7, 8, and 1, 2, 6, 9, uh, then the row or column would be clued with 4. So, uh, 1 is going to be pretty apparent about what that means, but um, the 2 is less apparent about some of the logic here. So, uh, if I try and give an example here, say I have a... Oy, oy, oy. Uh, so, say I have a 7 and an 8 there, right? Um, now, uh, the logic here is, oh, hang on, I'll put it somewhere else, uh, buh, 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 buh. so, say if that was a 7, this digit couldn't be an 8, because then I would have a string of 3 digits. Um, now, I'm gonna, uh, get going, and, yeah, let's do it, I'm gonna reset the timer, because this one's gonna be pretty quick. So, um, if you haven't already worked it out, this is just thermometer Sudoku, but you don't know where the thermometer is. However, we can make some educated guesses. If this goes seven and one along here, then we need to have a eight cell thermometer going from here, which means I can just do all of these digits. It's eight, nine. Now, uh, along here, this can't this eight cell thermometer can't include this, so it needs to go eight, seven, six, five, uh, four, two, one. Now, uh, this eight cell thermometer needs to include all of these cells, um, which is uh, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And over here, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, yeah. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, uh, the rest of this puzzle you can solve. If you have no idea, if you have no idea about what you're doing, um, and you're like, oh, I don't know how I'm going to use these two clues, um, you don't actually have to use them. The rest of the puzzle will solve without it. Um, now, for people who are like, why are they there? Um, it's because I'll tell you a secret about a lot of uh, your favorite variant you can sort of construct is they solve using computers, clover sets by hand. Um, and because Clover sets by hand, occasionally stuff like that will happen. Um, but it's because Clover is actually quite smart, which means, shockingly, she is allowed to make mistakes too. Um, but Clover is amazing and I adore her. Um, so I was just pre-answering the question that some of y'all in the uh, might have at the end of this. But um, we can still use these clues to just do some cool logic. Like here, if I put any digit b between three and nine here, this would break this two clue. So the three and nine can't work, so I can put a two there. Uh, now, this has to be one, eight or nine, but it can't be an eight via Sudoku. Uh, nine over here, 
uh, means that this is a 6, 8 pair. Uh, this is a 2, which means this is a 1 and a 5. We can actually resolve that. You'll have to see it. Uh, this is a 1 and a 6 pair, but the 6 resolves it. Uh, it's a 1 and a 6 because 1 and 6 over here, being that I have to place it over there. Uh, 8 and 9, 2 and 7. Uh, all right. Uh, this is 1, 4 and 8. Uh, but we can just do that via Sudoku, apparently. I love that for me. Uh, 4 and 1. Um, 3 and 5, uh, so that's 5, that's 3. Uh, 8, this can't be 1, but it couldn't have been 1 already. That's 2, that's 9. Uh, this is 1 and 6. Uh, 8 and 7. Um, 7 and 8. 5 and 3. Uh, this is... Uh, 4, 8, 6, 8, 1, 9, uh, 5, and 7, 6, and 3, and 9, and 3. Now, um, that has been Max Ascending Sudoku by Clover. Um, my name is still Bill Murphy, last time I checked. And if I catch any of you asking that question in the YouTube comments, I'm going to tell Clover to put out the much, much harder Max Ascending that she made the other day. Um, you have been warned, and I will see you next time. Cheers!